Hey, welcome to Monday's uh, Math Buffet. Today we are going to be looking in the appetizer portion, we're going to be taking a look at prime numbers, and then we will also do a multiplication and a division problem. So the first thing under the prime numbers, remember a prime number is any number that only has one and itself as factors. And factors are numbers that we would multiply together to get that number. So in this case, and I'll just do a couple of these for example, um, if I look at the number 2, I know I can only multiply 1 times 2 to get 2. So that is going to be a prime number, so I will circle it. When I look at 5, I know I can only do 1 times 5 to get 5. So I'm going to circle 5. I get to 7. 1 times 7. There's nothing else I can multiply together to get 7. So I'm going to circle the 7. 9 is going to be a little bit different because I know I can do 1 times 9 and I can also do 3 times 3. So it is not a prime number. Under 11, I can do 1 times 11. That is it. So I'm going to circle 11. 15. 1 times 15 and 3 times 5. It is not a prime number. 20. This one has multiple factors. I have 1 times 20. 2 times 10, 4 times 5, so it is not a prime number. 21, 1 times 21, 3 times 7, not a prime number. 33, 1 times 33, 11 times 3, so this is not a prime number. So in this case, 2, 5, 7, and 11 are your prime numbers. For multiplication, I'm going to choose to use the box method for this. Again, the strategy is up to you. We just want you to confirm that you have the correct answer. So I'm going to have 20 and 3 and 40 and 7. When I do 20 times 40, I'm going to do 4 times 2 is 8. And then I have two zeros. 40 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12 and I add one zero. Then I'm gonna move down here to 20 times seven. Two times seven is 14, one zero. Seven times three, 21. And then the biggest hang up is making sure that when you go to add these numbers up, that everything lines up. So I have 800, 120, 140, and 21. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. So 981 should be the correct answer. Okay, long division. Um, again, I'm gonna use the box method for long division. I have a three digit number, so I need three columns. Six is what I'm dividing by. I have three, one, three, Thinking about how many times will 6 go into 3, or can I multiply something times 6 to get 3? I cannot. 3 is a smaller number than 6, so 6 will not go into 3. So I know that this is going to be 0. My answers are going to go in the attic, and your remainders are going to go in the chimney. 6 does not go into 3, so that's 0. 6 times 0 is 0. I'm going to subtract. 3 minus 0 is 3. This 3 comes up here next to the 1. And now I have 31. 6 goes into 31. I know that if I multiply 6 times 5, I get 30. And then I subtract. I get 1. My 1 comes up here with the 3. I now have a 13. 6 goes into 13. I know that 6 times 2 is 12. Subtract. And I have a remainder of 1. So 52 remainder 1. Okay, after you have finished checking your answers on the appetizer for Monday, you are going to flip to the back of your page, and you are now moving on to the main course. The main course today is going to cover lines, line segments, and rays. You will see here in this box that each of these items has been defined for you, so it tells you what that looks like, and you may have some experience with this. So a line is a path that extends in two directions with no end. So a line is going to be indicated by having an arrow on each end. So a line would look something like this, okay?
A line segment has two fixed endpoints, so it means it has a set starting point and it has a set ending point. So it starts and it stops. Okay? And then finally, a ray is a path that has one endpoint and keeps going in the other direction. So we would have a starting point and it would go in one direction. Okay? Now it may go either way starting point and it goes in one direction okay down below in the boxes you're going to do this part on your own now that I've kind of went over what these look like um, you're going to indicate whether it is a line a line segment or a ray so you will write that in the box when you have finished the main course you need to move on and complete your MobyMax lessons there are going to be some games available on Google Classroom that will hopefully help um, strengthen your learning when it comes to lines, line segments, and rays.